The Belfast Historical Society and Museum presents Women's Suffrage, 100 Years, 1920-2020. The 19th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution given women the right to vote in U.S. elections was ratified on August 18, 1920. The first Belfast Suffrage League meeting was held in August 1916 at the first organizational meeting held in City Hall. A representative of the nation's Women's Suffrage Association spoke to a fair-sized audience. Present was Miss Essie Carl, president of the Belfast Women's Club, who presided. In 1916, Louise Johnson Pratt served as the founding president of the Belfast Suffrage League. In 1917, Louise vigorously worked for women's right to vote. At subsequent meetings, literature was distributed, informational discussions were held. The wide awake women of today have caught the spirit of equal rights, and this is their century. In opposition to this movement was the Maine's Men Anti-Suffrage League. In September of 1919, they placed a notice in the Republican Journal stating their case. They were not necessarily against women's suffrage, but felt that the state legislators should not vote on it until the, a statewide referendum was held. On March 5, 1919, the Jenny Flood Krieger, Belfast's largest and only five-master ship, was launched. She was named in honor of Captain Krieger's wife, who was a well-known suffraged in Maine. Mrs. Krieger was a genuine suffrage and for 40 years worked for the cause. She was known for doing her part modestly and efficiently to educate women and to prepare them for the ballot. Women of Maine should consider their ballot a sacred thing, to use in defense of their home, their country, and their God. Following the ratification of the 19th Amendment, S.A.P. Carl, chairman of the Republican County Committee and Belfast businesswoman, was the first Belfast woman to register to vote. She was among the first women to turn out to register in early September 1920. Board of Registration, City Clerk's Office published the total count of those who registered to vote in the first election. A state election was held on September 13, 1920. Out of a total of 957, 85 men and 872 women registered. The women registered as 443 Republican, 136 Democrats, and 293 no preference. Women were finally allowed to vote in a presidential election, which was held on November 2, 1920. The oldest woman to register was Miss Sarah E. Stewart, age 94. When interviewed in 1927 at age 101, she remarked, while she was not at all in favor of women's suffrage before the law was passed, she has voted on all occasions since. On the other hand, Miss Julie Batch Elder declared at the time of her 89th birthday that, no, sir, I don't believe in it. The men act bad enough now without us women getting into the game. We honor the women who dedicated themselves to the suffrage cause. For more information, visit the Belfast Museum at 10 Market Street in Belfast, or visit our website at www.belfastmuseum.org.